When coaching your soccer, the key to motivating soccer players is to help them motivate themselves. First, you need to set the example. This means that you need to use the golden rule and speak to them the way you wish them to speak to you and the way you hope they speak to themselves. Let me explain. Using positive reinforcement will go a long way to helping players feel good enough about themselves and their soccer game to want to strive for more. How? It is really very simple. Focus on the positive things and do not focus on the negative things. We live in a rat race society where we tend to compare ourselves to others much of the time. Children go through school constantly being compared to others and then move to their post-secondary education looking to be the best so they can receive scholarships and awards. They want to please their parents and they want to do well. They often focus on what they did wrong and what they did not do. Uh, in the end, they can feel very frustrated, angry and can feel like a failure and this attitude can be carried onto the soccer field. Using positive reinforcement means focusing on the positive and what went right. There is no need to look at what a player did not do properly. You may ask, how do you help a player correct uh, a poor technique or improve their soccer game without looking at what they did improperly? Well, that's a good question. Uh, on soccer coaching, the key is to look at what they did right and say that you want to see them do it again. Instead of saying, for example, there was a good kick, but when you kick the ball, place your foot here. Try saying something like, hey, on the last penalty kick, you had great follow through and made the shot. Let's see that again this time. Try placing your foot here. This is much more effective. Instead of feeling frustrated, that they are not getting it right, they will feel good about themselves for getting at least part of it right and they will be eager to do it again. Of course, there are times when they will get part of the technique right and uh, not do something else in the proper way. Begin with pointing out the areas in which they performed well and then tell them you want to see it again with another part added in. This way, they will try again from the positive outlook that they can do it and they just need to adjust something. For example, instead of saying, that was a good try, but when you kick the ball, you need to kick through the ball. You are stopping short. Try saying something like, great kick, your foot position was bang on. Now, let me see it again and this time kick your foot all the way through the ball and see how much further it will go. Whether you are working with kids or adults, they will respond to this sort of encouragement very well. It is also important to teach the players to positively reinforce their soccer teammates and to encourage each other. In this way, players will feel even better about what they have accomplished, especially when they are nearing adolescence and their peers begin to have a greater influence on them than the adults in their lives do. Motivating soccer players is about helping them feel good enough about themselves and what they are doing that they decide to strive for more. They will want to improve themselves and their game from the positive frame of mind that they are good players who are improving all the time instead of feeling that they are inadequate and need to improve their game to become good enough. Follow these tips on coaching your soccer and I'm sure you'll motivate your players or kids to love the game even more. My name is Andre Butelho and I'm the president of SoccerDrillsTips.com. If you're a soccer coach and you want to learn how to dramatically improve your player skills and make training more fun, just go to SoccerDrillsTips.com right now to get the free gift that is waiting for you.